Okay, let me just preface this by saying the majority of quests in Fallout 4, they are really fun. You get to talk to death claws, blow up airships, dress up like old comic book heroes, even help settlements. Yeah, it's, it's a really good time. Thing is, there are a few out there that they do seem to annoy the community just a bit. Uh, ones that make me want to kill a bunch of babies. No, synth, synth babies, and not some monster. So today, I wanted to list my top five most annoying quests in Fallout 4. Let's get into it. Starting off with number five, we have Cappy and Haystack. You can start this by speaking to Sierra not long after you arrive at Nuke World. What's this? She wants you to find ten hidden Cappies all over the park, and you have to wear these really silly glasses in order to find them. Girl, don't you realize you are ruining my outfit? You're making me look oogly. These things don't match with anything. Fine. So you look on your map, and sure enough, this quest is going to take you all over the place, and you probably just got here. You don't know what you're doing. I don't, th I don't think I'm the only one, but isn't it annoying when you've, you, when you've got a bunch of objectives in one area? Like, like you go over to the Galactic Zone and you're thinking, okay, so I have to clear out all these robots. Um, I, I have to look for a bunch of star cores. Oh wait, the Cappies! I have to look for those too! And then you start searching the walls, you're looking behind uh, trash bins, and then suddenly everything becomes a secret. You see an oddly shaped plant and you're thinking, oh, it's gotta be behind that. What? No! <laughs> it's all very stressful. How dare a video game challenge me? Now luckily there are quest markers that bring you to the general area of these cappies, but they're still hard to find. They're hiding behind gravestones, they're, they're in darkly lit tunnels, um, they're in spinning rooms where you have to get lucky and just open the right door, they're at the top of large towers, I mean, I hate looking for things! I still can't find Strong, I thought I sent him back to Sanctuary, obviously not. And don't let my footage fool you, I'm finding these things one after the other, but I was reading a guide the entire time. Like, honestly, you think I'm gonna find the one next to the primate house? What, what, what kind of opening is this? Uh -huh. Now, the only redeeming part of this quest is that you do, you get to unlock Brad Burton's office if you've got the secret password, and then you find out that he's still alive down there. Um, although it should be noted that instead of killing Brad Burton, I left him alive to be bothered by Sierra for a very, very long time to come. Why? Because he deserves it for creating that horrible treasure hunt that he just made me go on. Number four, we've the molecular level. Stop making me build things. No, I can't build anything. I don't, I, I don't know the workshop. I don't know this workshop you're talking about. No, re really, you want me to build a teleportation device? None of my settlements have corn! And there's only one mattress. It's for dog meat. So, so I don't know what you want me to do here, but fine, let's start from the beginning. You have to go to the railroad to have your courser chip decoded. Uh, thing is, Desdemona already doesn't like me, and Tinker Tom smells like an old hacky sack rolled in seaweed. S someone has to get them out of this crypt, man. Anyway, you get it decoded, now you have to jump over to the glowing sea. Virgil's gonna tell you that you have to, you have to build a signal interceptor? What do you mean, you don't have one lying around? Have you checked your wallet? Lord knows what you'll lose in there. Oh, the oh, this thing is huge! What the heck? Okay, so you've got a few different places you can build it, um, but I chose to do it at Sanctuary with the help of Sturges. You know, I've always felt kind of bad for him. Well, you just, you never really have to interact with him. He, he looks so bored, so I thought, all right, Sturges, do I have a job for you? Uh, I, I seem to be missing a biometric scanner, uh, a circuit board, and a sensor module. Would you mind grabbing those for me? No, okay, I'll do it then. So, if you don't have those items already, you're gonna have to go out and get them. Finally, you come back and you realize that was just the start. You need so many supplies for this. You have to build uh, the, the stabilized reflector platform, um, and then the relay dish, and then the, the molecular beam emitter, and then uh, the control console. <sighs> now, if I know anything about wire confibulators that are connected to electron barrier rods, tweaked with just a little ancillary escalation, also with a couple drops of oifem on the top, then I, I know that all of these things here in front of me, uh, they need power. They need generators. Okay, so you make a bunch of them, but then you don't know where the wires go. You, you take a wire and you put it between the generators and the platform, and then and then the generator and the relay dish, and then probably another generator for, for the console, but then it's still not working, and you're saying, but I have at least 27 power, what's going on? And then you realize all, all parts have to be connected together so that they can take, so you, you take even more wires and connect the console to the platform, and then the relay dish to, to the platform, and there's so many wires, there's so many generators. <sighs> it's not me who left the workshop, it's the workshop who abandoned me. Number three, we have the Grand Tour. We weren't gone for very long, but I'm taking you back to Nuka World. Uh, now, if I'm gonna offend anyone in this video, it, it is probably going to be here. Uh, I do realize this quest plays a huge part in the main story of this DLC, but... It's annoying! Okay, what do you want me to say? You have to clear out all of the zones of the park, and each one is crawling with a different type of enemy. That, that, that's essentially it. Oh, and there are some obstacles that are gonna pop up to make killing those enemies a, a little bit harder. Sound good? We good? So you head over to the Galactic Zone, and you have to clear out all the robots. Uh, you can run around trying to find each individual one, 
or you can look for star cores. Uh, th these are actually harder to find, but if you collect enough of them, you can disable a certain line of robots in this area. Uh, a line of robot you've probably already destroyed trying to find all of these freaking star cores. Pick your poison. Then you head over to Dry Rock Gulch. Uh, no matter where you step, a bloodworm is gonna pop out. It's, it's like the movie Tremors. If you're walking around, they're gonna know where you are. Okay, obviously there's a queen that's shooting these things out at a remarkable speed. We, we should kill her. Yes, let's go do that. Oh, but in order to do that, I need to get the code to the safe that's, that's holding the key to the mine. And so you have to do these weird challenges for the Protectrons to get this code. Yeah, just how about you cut the BS and just let me get my job done, okay? You go into the mine, you clear out all the bloodworms. Happy days, fine. After that is Safari Adventure. It's a good thing Cedo is actually such a cool dude, because otherwise this would just be you killing 21 Gator Claws scattered around the place. Are you tired of hunts yet? And again, Cedo is cool. He, he's, uh, he's fun to talk to. But it's not like he's gonna help you a lot. I don't even know how he's still alive, trying to kill these things with a hammer. But in my case, he just served as a dummy for these things while I did all the killing. Alright. Then we move on to the world of refreshment, Mirelurks. Just Mirelurks all over the place. Nasty spitting bugs that will- that won't die! I still don't even know where to shoot! I feel like I'm always hitting their shell. I didn't like them in the base game. Then Far Harbor comes out, and there is even more of them crawling around in the mist. And now here we are, and they've turned blue! Please! No more Mirelurks! So you kill all of them, and then what happens? A queen pops out of the ground, and now you have to kill her. It's never gonna end! And then finally, you move on to Kitty Kingdom. You can't even get in with that hazmat suit or some kind of radiation protection. You're getting swarmed by ghouls. It's a maze, so you don't know where you're going. And instead of just being able to kill everyone and leave, Oswald puts you through all of these wacky games. I didn't like this stuff as a kid, and still, it, it, it freaks me out. Now, I will say, I did like the character of Oswald. I, I thought he had a really nice story, and um, I thought his boss battle was actually really fun. But the quest as a whole, man, am I glad this is over. I, I, we've got how many raiders at this park, and none of them helped out. But of course now, this land is all for them. You're welcome. Number two, we have the Minutemen Radiant Quests. You thought this would be number one. Uh, no, but I, I do feel a little cheap including something like a Radiant Quest on my list. Um, obviously these are here just, just as something extra you can do with whatever faction you like the most. But given the profound effect these have had on the community, how could I not include them? Uh, in the case of the Minutemen, these quests are forced on you at record numbers. Actually, the experience is becoming so unpleasant, I'm now trying to avoid Preston Garvey altogether. He, he, he's like one of those people holding pamphlets at a mall. Oh, don't make eye contact, just walk past them. No, they see me, they're getting closer. Run, start running. Hi, a new settlement needs your help. Can I get your contact information? Get back here. There are people dying and it's on your hands. I can't take it. I can't talk to him anymore gotten so bad that we'll be talking about an entirely different quest and you'll find a way to sneak it into the conversation. I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me inside the Institute. If you think it will really work, then you should see if Sturgis can make heads or tails of those plans. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. Now, this wouldn't be all that bad if they were designed like the Radiant Quests from other factions. So, like, in the Brotherhood of Steel, if you're out looking for a piece of technology and you come back and you turn it in, you'll have to tell that person you're willing to do it again to get another quest. Makes sense. But with the Minutemen, you'll get harassed no matter where you are. If you turn one into Preston Garvey, he's going to give you another immediately afterward. Then you'll be walking around your settlement, and a random settler can tell you what to do. There are some super mutants that you should really take out. I'd help, but I've got, I've got all this water that I have to pump. And then you can get them just by listening to Radio Freedom. I mean, you're trying to enjoy some nice violin. <laughs> Another settlement needs your help. And then to top it all off, the more settlements you help, the more there are that need to be defended. You'll be out doing another quest, and then, oh, Ten Pines Bluff needs to be defended. And if you don't come and help, everyone's gonna hate you. Yeah, it's, it's quite the pain. <laughs> so, where do you go from here? Well, you can download a mod that's going to decrease the amount of times this will happen. Or you can do what I do and just stop talking to Preston Garvey. Sorry, bud. And number one, we have Best Left Forgotten. This is a part of the main quest in Far Harbor where you have to unlock Dima's memories. Unfortunately, what we learned from trying to get Kellogg's memories is that you, you can't just dump everything onto a USB and then read them in File Explorer. Instead, you have to jump into the nebulous with all these floating structures and, and monkey around in there. Now, Kellogg's brain was actually pretty tame, but Dima's is its filled with a bunch of boxes and little glowing bugs. What the heck is going on here? The first time you do this, you're so lost. Wait, I, I have to get these bugs over to that yellow stream? Okay, they, they can't get across. Oh, boxes, I have to collect those. All right, put them down. Uh, I gotta twist the ones with the with the green beams so that they'll destroy all of the red stuff. Okay, but now my bugs are getting killed off. Just let me use my new Desert Eagle mod, and this won't be a problem. Oh, I've got sentry turrets. Okay, 
and set those up. Somehow the bugs grabbed the information and, and made it back safely. Fine. Sorry, why am I doing this again? And it doesn't end there. There's a total of five of these puzzles, each one getting more difficult than the last. Now, you only have to do three of them to move on with the story, but if you do all of them, you will get some pretty cool armor. So, you do try, and finally, by the fifth one, you don't even know what you're looking at. It's just it's just a big open room with, with a bunch of islands that you have to cross over to to grab a bunch of decoder relays. Uh, th those are the things that reflect, that reflect the green beams, so that you can put them in just the right spots all over the map to create one steady stream that's going to end up back at the very start. I have a headache, um... And the system knows you're stupid. Every time you die, it says, Do you want to exit the simulation? Okay, are you not smart enough to figure this out? You dick. No! No, get off of my screen! If anyone's gonna save these bugs, it is me. I'm... I'm just gonna look up a few guides to... to help... help me out a little bit. I am smart! And there you have it, my top 5 most annoying quests in Fallout 4. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And down below, please tell me, what do you think is your least favorite quest in this game? <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for watching. I'll mark it on your map right now. Nope, it's on you! Now <laughs> I gotta go!